Welcome to our 2018 trike tour of Iceland. For this tour, we packed our trikes and headed to the opposite side of the planet, to spend a month exploring Iceland by trike and try and capture some of the natural wonders of this fascinating country. Spending a day or two reassembling our trikes and getting our supplies, we decided to start our triking away from the city and headed first by bus to the town of Stikkisholmjö on the north coast of the Snæfells Peninsula. Brief stop for lunch and we hit the road for the first time carrying 30 kilos of gear. The wind was blowing and the rain was pouring down for our first taste of Iceland cycle touring. After a day of cycling in the wind and rain through wondrous scenery, we were quite cold and wet. We stopped for the night at a guest house in the seaside hamlet of Grunda Fjorda. The next morning we set out to capture the stunning local mountain Kirkjafell. This striking feature is known the world over for its natural beauty. Venturing west along the peninsula throughout the day, we eventually reached the town of Helisandu. This town has a camping area which is completely surrounded by remnants of a lava field, making it an interesting setting for us to set up for the night. Following day, we continued our journey, looking for the famous Sneifelts Jokult, which dominates this end of the peninsula and is even said to be a centre of mystical energy. We stayed the night in the village of Onastapi. This village was the setting for the start, the intrepid adventurer's journey to the centre of the earth and the famous story by Jules Verne. Along the way throughout our tour, we gathered a lot of attention from many tourists who were often very enthusiastic to get photos of us and our trikes.
We were also often surprised by the genuine hospitality shown by the local Icelanders. Facing the last day of our journey around the Snæfellsnes Peninsula, we found ourselves unable to easily approach the Gerdeberg Cliffs. We were already pushing a stiff headwind and the loose gravel covering the side road would mean walking the tracks. This would take too much time from our long run for the day, so we captured what we could from a distance and struggled on into the wind. Boganes, we travelled once again by bus, stripping down the trikes to fit underneath. Our destination this time was the northernmost city in Iceland, Akureyri. We really enjoyed our rest day in the city, which had many interesting things to see. The locals were friendly and we even met another tricyclist to swap stories with. Eventually we said goodbye to Akinwari and headed west. We had a long climb over the mountain range before we reached our next stop. Magnificent Godofoss. Like so many of the places we visited in Iceland, it's difficult to convey the scale and raw beauty of the land. We enjoyed the time we spent here, forcing ourselves to leave so that we could continue our adventure. we worked our way southward over a series of hills and small lakes towards the beautiful lake of Mavarden and the surrounding thermal fields.
we spent the night near the town of Rakelid on the banks of Mavart. The next day, after climbing quite a long hill out of the town, we stopped to survey the surrounding countryside. The view from here looked as though it could have been from another planet, so distinctly different from what we'd seen before. Kavir, nearby, was a fascinating place, an assault on the senses, with hissing steam vents, bubbling mud pools and sulphurous fumes, all amid a vista of brilliant colour. Ended our day fulfilled with a soothing soak in the local thermal baths. <laughs> 